Okay, so I'm sending Yuri <coughs> on a mission to go meet up with Ass Pizza. Ass Pizza's been doing his thing for a long time. We interviewed him in the very early days of this channel. And uh, he just had a Supreme collab drop. Yuri's a big fan. You see Yuri dripping. To come in the drip. Head to toe in Ass to Pizza. <laughs> So he's just gonna go over there and just see what happens. We're gonna just get to see what the LA ass pizza fans look like. But yo, the Supreme collab is like insane. So massive, massive respect to him. That really is a testament to what he's building. Listen, we're here. I'm about to make the fucking post. We got people going around the fucking scavenger hunt for these shirts. The rare shirt on fucking earth right now. So I'm gonna make the post right now. The first person who pulls up and brings their grandma, that's the only way they could get their shirt if they bring their grandma. Last, the last one was the Eddie Guerrero action figure. The first one was a $2 bill. So, you know, it's just some scavenger hunt. So we're gonna see the first person that comes with their grandma. We're gonna make the post right now. So like, we got the Supreme collab bussin'. First thing I told Supreme, I said, stop being pussy. Let's do some crazy fucking shit. You know, they're mad at me for going this hard, honestly. In New York, I have people fucking going nuts, so. This is the way you gotta do it. It's fun, it's fun. It's real. Hey, take this. Thank you, dude. Sure. We got Hayes here for protection, just in case anyone tries to fucking yes, cross this shit. He already man. cracked four skulls today. He already cracked four skulls. Don't make it five. Don't make it five. Four more We're to go. out here positive energy we're gonna receive positive energy back man you can't be scared to pull up and do some shit right. stop being pussy man just pull up this is the way you gotta do it let's go oh. Oh. Right here. Oh. Susan. what's up man nice to meet you all right good to meet you, meet you. Meet you. <laughs> all right let's go grab the shirt large if there is one thanks man how did he convince you to come here? Uh, she didn't want to, man. I had to buy her a beer. <laughs> a beer? I had to buy her a little beer. You know. All right, wait. Whisper me your name. Jeffrey. You know, I said whisper, oh, my friend, bro. My All right, right, whisper me your last name. Miranda. What's his last name? First name, Jeffrey. Cap. Cap alert. Cap alert. Right, this, oh. is my, this is my grandma. Yeah. So what's his last name? Right it's Miranda. What's his last name? Miranda. No, she didn't know before. No, I didn't hear what you I, said. Ask her my age. Hey, you can get a cat. I'll tell you my age, so she'll give it to you. Hold on, hold on. He's 25 years old. That's what I was going to tell you. Jeffrey Grant. All right, whisper me, whisper me, whisper me, whisper me. It's not You heard that. It's I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. Well, let it slide. I'm just trying, bro. You're good. Now nah, you're a good grandma for calling up. <laughs> See, no other grandmas pulled up. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Man. <laughs> appreciate that, man. Yeah. See you guys. What do you guys think in the comments? Was that his grandma? I think. Did pull up with their grandma yet? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was really? Cap. It was Big Cap. Cap. She was drinking a beer, bro. Dude, everybody yeah. out here is lying. Yeah. yeah. It's going to take another hour. Fuck it. You know, let's see if there's a second place. I need him. Yo, yo. I said, whisper me your name. He said, Jeffrey. Mad loud. Like, All right, Mr. Cap. <laughs> And like, you know it's a lie when he gets like, pressed and nervous. <laughs> I know. People got here quick. Yeah, with the $2 bill they got here in three minutes, bro. Three minutes. That was quick. <laughs> Don't play with him. Shit mean that's KOS. I'm good on the east and I'm great on the west. Hello. Hey, yo, everybody clap it up for Ask Pizza. Everybody. Yes, sir. Everybody. There's a second grandma. We might have someone for him. Okay, well, that lady was paid to be a grandma impersonator. Yeah, nice. He but, said, all you gotta do is keep the mask on so you don't gotta crack. Yeah, I'ma just say, fuck it. I'll give you the shirt for effort. Fuck it. You're a hustler. So am I. I respect you. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> he got it. What's that? Uh, XO? If we have. We have two mediums. I'll put that in the car. Yeah, just uh, yeah. 
take 100%. <laughs> yeah, no uh, You gotta yeah, get the shirt to her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I get one, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Dude, that shit's fire as fuck. Here, take cover. Uh, show the camera. I've grown my hair though. Does that count? <laughs> you got like what? Grandma hair. <laughs> we already got two grandmas, man. Damn, really? One okay. fake one, one real one. Oh. <laughs> awesome. You guys live around here? No, we live uh, down on um, uh, King, all the way down on King, so we drove all the way over here. Yeah, good grandma. Yeah. <laughs> all we got is meeting right now. Uh, you can figure it out. <laughs> thank you, Hazy. Thank you, Austin. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You want to take some pictures with you guys? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> How'd you come up with your name? Ash. That's just some shit I got I got stuck with, bro. For real? It's like, yeah. Just, they, they used to call you that in school and just Mr. Ass? Bullies, bullies, bro. Shut up. Seriously. Fuck the bullies, bro. Yeah, yeah. The he be bullies. bullying me. I am a bully. Yeah, I do be bullying. Yeah. 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 Alright, there's one more shirt. I got one more challenge. <laughs> Alright, guys. There's one more shirt. Listen. There's one more shirt. Whoever could do a backflip gets it. Backflip. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I can do a double backflip. Oh, oh God. A double. Oh, All right, guys. Watch out. Watch out. Nah, nah, I'll do it. I'm good. I'm good. I got a double backflip. Yo, give me your shirt, bro. Give me your shirt. So no one could do a backflip, bro. Come on, bro. We need a backflip. I don't want to eat shit. Who can learn? My face is on me. No one's yeah, at the. Huh? You have to land it. You don't got to land it. I have to land it, bro. Oh, oh, clean, clean black. Clean back back clean. Now, bro. Fucking Matthew Parham was shit for us. Dude. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get that bitch, bro. Come you on. got that? And, I and thought next someone. Time crazy, next time crazy. We'll, we'll do some crazy. Something, something capable. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna get anyone hurt. The back foot. That's so crazy. I thought that shit would have been easy. Let me think. He go back to it. Oh, you can backflip? Push the concepts, let me live. Alright, let's see. Alright, everybody, everybody clap. Yeah. 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 Come on, let me can backflip. Y'all better fucking clap. Let's go. You got it. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, the boots oh. off. Let's go, let's see it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 hey. You got it. You got it. You got it, bro. Yo, I ripped my sock, man. You got it. You got wait, wait, it. Let, let me do it. Let me do a clean one. Hold up. That was dead. Like, yeah, I ripped both my socks. That. I never seen someone rip their socks, bro. I never seen someone rip their socks. That's crazy. I wish I got yeah, some yeah, socks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right that was sick. I fucked up the screen. Nah, that was sick. Was you still won. That's all that matters. You Half these people, people just bring this one to try it. That's yeah, right. You. You're try a winner. It. Winners win, losers lose. Yeah, you miss every <laughs> shot you don't take. That's right. Yo, yeah, shout out, shout out, Ashby, sir. My name's Kelly. I'm a singer from the Bronx. Most New York, you feel me? New York, stay with me. Really? Yeah. You're late, bro. Yeah. There's two grandmas. I know. What? A little backflip. Yeah, backflip. <laughs> so we had Fuck, bro. Damn, I want to give you something. I just ran out of sticker stick. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just did a backflip. You ran out of sticker stick? Yeah, yeah. That's all right, dude. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Next time I see you though, I got you with something. Yeah. Dude, when you were uh, when you were here last time on Ventura, uh -huh. I lived like right near there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thank you for coming out for him, man. <laughs> I almost get out oh, Everybody clap it up for Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> That's just right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good color for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah shout out Ass Pizza. <laughs> Listen, you can't wear Ass Pizza if your breath stinks. Play it smart. Alright.
Who knows? There might be something else later. But I appreciate all you for coming, bro. Cheers. All right, later, man. Later, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more shit soon. I'm gonna have more shit soon, bro. I promise. I'm gonna have no clothes behind it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna see you guys, bro. Right, Stay tuned. There you go. <laughs> and if you ever need help on anything while you're here, just let me know. Are you a beast with it? Uh, I'm like pretty nice with it. I've been sewing for like, like two years. I can show you some like. I can pull up my portfolio. I've just been kind of like, I don't know. I've just been like, like having trouble marketing it and like broadcasting it to the world. Yeah, yeah I actually need some help signing some shit. Yeah. Um, you want to pull up to 730 Studios too? See it? Yeah, yeah we could do that. Right. So this is going to be 730 Studios. This is the lobby right here. The walls are all fucked up. Do you guys know Jack Berkeley? He's a very rare artist. Like he doesn't have Instagram or anything. Like he's a real legend. Like, seriously, Jack yes. Berkeley. So the fact he came by is insane, bro. So we got studio here, recording, blah blah. blah. I'm gonna like customize all the couches and uh, the soundproofing and everything. Damn. Anyone who comes here is free to draw or the fuck they want. Um, right now we're kind of just living here because we kind of like, I was spending mad money on Airbnbs and shit so I was like fuck it let's just get the studio and we could basically live here and every like two days we get a shower at, at a hotel. <laughs> but, yeah. So yeah we've just been fucking working on Hazel shit, a bunch of shit. This is a whole nother studio. Back here there's three more. Fucking room. Oh, damn, this place is huge. Yeah. Right now it's an office. Huh? Damn. There's rooms back here. Oh. And uh, I need to sign it. Yeah, so on 7.30 I'm working on this thing called like, I'm going to release like a 7.30 tape. And it's going to be featuring mad artists I fuck with and stuff. So it's like now I have a place to bring them to record and stuff. And um, during the day like people will be able to book sessions. And then at night we just... They're going crazy, you know, do whatever the fuck we want, but... So yeah, this is gonna open probably next month or some shit. That's fire. Have you even, have you talked about this yet anywhere? No. Nah. Damn. Yeah. Brand yeah. new reveal. This and I'm about to open one in New York too, so... And how long have you guys been here again? We've been here just like a month. Oh, like a month? Damn. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, shit on the walls for being here for a month there. Yeah, yeah. This shit's gonna be covered fully, and like... All the soundproofing and stuff, I'm gonna like uh, reupholster it with denim and stuff. I'm just like, it's gonna look fucking crazy. And all these walls will be drawn on and it'll be fucking, it'll be, it'll be nice. And there'll be exclusive shit here, like crazy shit. Yeah. And um, the way we got this, we had to do some finesse shit, bro. Like, it's a whole nother story. It was some inside job shit because we had to get the people that were here like kicked out and stuff. So, jeez. Because they were trying to scam me. To, to like sublease the shit and like you're not allowed to sublease it so I was like I hit up the landlord directly I was like yo I talked to blah 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 and they were like that's not allowed <laughs> and they got kicked out next day I was like fuck it's too perfect I get it bro so, this place is huge it's crazy Are so um the, the most recent no jumper content to come out with you is the yeah. one with the black dave that vlog yeah. in New York that was really cool I was down bad man I was down bad really that interview. hell yeah bro like straight depressed crazy shit this year i'm feeling better mm. and just like because yeah it's just it's just like i'm not my healthy shit now too bro i'm just like taking care of myself and everything so it's just i feel better and i could get more shit done and stuff so that's it's right. like you really control the shit with your mind so once you feel better and you're more positive it's like better shit's gonna happen and stuff mm -hmm. so i'm always just gonna try to keep it on some real shit and just do crazy shit and like you guys will see the work with it, with it. you're gonna see this year is gonna be my best year bro i swear to fucking god i remember one of the biggest things that like stuck out to me at that time was during the interview you said they like you don't smoke or drink bro i still never smoke or drink to this day really Damn. people think i'm a crackhead bro <laughs> people think i smoke fucking crack and shit like, no i've never even took a sip of beer or fucking i've never smoked weed i've never smoked a cigarette I don't know why, man. <laughs> just like, 
in middle school and shit, I was on my like punk shit, so it was like probably just like I was on some straight edge shit, so I was mm-hmm. like it just stuck with me, so fuck it. That's fire. And it's like why well, I do it now, like I never think about it or anything. I don't feel the need to do any of that shit. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't bother you like when yeah, like people around you smoking weed and shit. No, playing literally No, nah, they're smoking weed and doing a bunch of shit like you like, I don't know. I still just have fun and wipe out, so fuck it. Do you think when uh, you were doing that interview with Adam all those years ago when you were 16, yeah. did you like envision growing your brand like to this level? Bro, since I dropped out of high school and th- been thinking about this shit, like I've been thinking about this where I'm at right now since I was in high school, like in the desk, not talking to anyone, bro. Damn. Because it's like you really got to create your destiny, bro. Like I'm telling you all that corny shit and all that like positive shit and all that corny shit, it's really true, bro. Like, the TJ Maxx quotes on all those pillows and stuff, like those are the things to live by, bro. <laughs> live, laugh, love, bro. I swear. And it's like they make evil shit cool, bro. And they make negative shit popping. So you just gotta be on some different shit, cause this world's evil, man. And like all this magic shit's real, and like evil shit's real, bro. And you can't believe anything. Everything's fake and scary. It's a scary world. But um, positivity and love is the answer, you know? And it's like, it, it's, life is easier when it's just you don't fucking care about shit. Like, bro, stress leads to every illness in the world, bro. If you avoid stress, you will be healthy and happy and whatever. Like, obviously care about yourself, care about your family, blah, blah, blah. Nothing matters doesn't mean go fucking kill yourself and shoot up the school or something. No, it means don't fucking stress out because stress is the enemy and it will fucking cause you to not do anything, bro. You just got to be confident and be like, bro, whatever the fuck happens, it's fine. Because life is just a journey, man. And it's if you have an intent and a, you want to do something good, then you just do it because it's easy, bro. Seriously. This is crazy, like, talking to you because usually so- someone who, like, um, talks in a way like that is, like, the shrooms or acid. And, like, oh, you're I very know. open-minded without Everyone having done any of I that. I do that shit, man. <laughs> when I'm old, bro, like, when I'm, like, 60 or 70 or something, I'm trying every single drug in the world. <laughs> And I'm gonna be smoking crack and shit. <laughs> I swear. Cause why not do it when you're old, you know? Cause that's the time. You just fucking wipe out. Fucking smoke some meth. I wanted to ask you, uh, why do you um, gravitate towards the Carl's Jr. logo? Bro, I just fuck with this logo, I do. Seriously. Do you shit. love their food? Nah, I quit fast food, bro. Oh, that's good. Seriously. So I've been like seven months no fast food. Damn. I've been avoiding all chemicals and like processed food and like all that shit. That's really like my main like change. Like, I'm just like staying away from like fake food. I'm just trying to eat fresh and shit. Have you actually, ever um like gone hit up by Carl's Jr. saying like, yo, stop using your no, logo? No, uh, Hardy's followed me, but uh, they recently unfollowed everyone. But oh, they wow. followed me, and they sort of like changed their logo to like some weird modern fucking simple fucking looking star. So mm. I feel like they don't really care about this star, <laughs> and I'm not disrespecting them. You know? Yeah, yeah. With the Supreme shit, it's just like. Bro, clothes have got to the point where it's like so boring. And it's like, even now with all this fucking COVID shit, it's like you can't even, they don't want you to go outside and they don't want you to have fun and shit. It's like, bro, you can't even do anything. It's just like depressing. So I'm just trying to fucking give people something to do, bro. And yeah, I'm gonna go on tour the end of this month and tour is gonna be exciting, bro. It's gonna be all through the Midwest and like middle of nowhere fucking towns and shit. Cause it's like, Kids also don't even have a chance to buy real Supreme. So it's like those kids in the middle of America don't even have a chance to get real Supreme. So it's like once they get the aspect of shit, it's like, oh my God. Cause it's like, you gotta, you gotta fuck with those kids, bro. From what I remember, the first, the three of the three logo thing that you did yeah. for the shirt, you made like a sweater and then you cut out the Supreme logos and sewed it on. So yeah, the first triple box logo hoodie I had, it was one box logo from the regular one. I cut it out of an acid green one, and then my grandma sewed it on. And then the burgundy one, I just cut off again and like stapled it on. Oh my so God. that was the first row of box logo. The second one was the all red one that went to X. And the third one is, I'm gonna put it in like a mystery box or some shit. So the first one is lost in the world. I don't know where the fuck it is. You gave it to a fan, right? No, the third one is going in a mystery box. Oh, okay. okay the, okay. um,. OG one? I don't know where the fuck that is, bro. If someone has that shit, please let me know. Bro. Please find that shit. 
That is a piece of history, bro. <laughs> Any uh, aspects of vlogs or live streams coming? I want to, bro. I filmed a vlog in like January, and then I didn't edit it for that long, and I'm mm. like, dude, this shit's already vintage, so what the fuck, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to get on my shit extremely, like every day, like making shit happen. Hey. Yo. Yo, so what's up to the vlog? Yo, what's good, guys? It's Big Hayes, AKA the first place racer. Uh, I'm out here in LA, we just dropped the tape, we're going crazy, triple box logo, superstar with cheese coming soon, that's the deluxe, uh, we got Quan in the building, we, we out here man. So look, the first, in the old No Jumper video, where you seen how terrible it was, Hayes was living there for about a year. Yeah, that's a fact. So he the, went through hell man. From the floor of Jamaica, Queens, to the couch in LA, baby, I made it. What you put into this shit is what you get out of it, bro. Facts. So there's uh, like no beds or anything, huh? You guys uh, just couches. I sleep on the floor in that room over there. Futons. Futons. Fire. I got. They cop. turn into beds. <laughs> but yeah, basically there's no rules in the studio. So if you come here, you could just do whatever the fuck you want. And literally, it does not matter. You could destroy the walls and stuff. And we'll have some exclusive shit here. And it's like if uh, like if a, if a kid wants to come here and record and shit, like we could help him with shit or whatever, like creatively or whatever. So, literally, like, once you see this shit in a month, it's gonna look completely different. Right? You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Fine, we should do an update vlog when we come back. Hell yeah. Hell and yeah. just check everything back out. So, bro, stay tuned this year. A lot of exciting stuff happening, and I'm very excited. I'm very grateful for all the love and support. So, 730 Studios, coming soon. Close. Tour. Music. Videos, 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 videos. When's the tour? Trying to do it all year. But um, I'm doing a tour the, this month, the end of April type shit, beginning of whatever next month is. And then like, I'm still gonna do a 7.30 drop. I got my shit right. So after 7.30, I'm doing like some art shows and shit. Around the, it's like pop-up slash museum slash art show slash foot moves slash clothes, slash music, slash everything. So that's gonna be a whole nother tour after 7.30. So, and I got something, 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 something crazy coming. But I don't know what I'm talking about either. Fire. But that's I've been working on it for a while. Look oh. at this, there's just a pizza roll on the floor. I was wondering, I thought it was a doggy snack. Dude, what the fuck is this dude? Come on. Are you that's ever gonna um, stop signing people's stuff if it gets too like, hectic? Nah, dude, I love that shit. Literally, this shit comes from like, the graffiti mindset of just getting up and also me being retarded and thinking about like that shit traveling the world so it's like even if that shirt stays in someone's closet for like a year or whatever their whole life it's like it's just cool to me to know that like i'm in a closet in the middle of nowhere like someone's house that i could drive by and not even know because mm -hmm. it's like literally to help me go to sleep i like close my eyes and think about the shirt in the closet <laughs> and it calms me down because it's like Wow, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's some psycho shit. That's sick. But some people know what I mean, bro. 